Whether you're gaming or taking on a big project at work, upgrading to a curved monitor can elevate your computing experience. The best curved monitors also feature all the impressive specs and features of any other display while bringing a few unique tricks as well. Hello guys, in this video we're looking at the 5 best curved monitors of 2022. And if you want more information, we also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting our list with number 5, we've got the AOC C27G2 Z Frameless Gaming Monitor. If you're on a limited budget, the AOC C27G2Z is easily one of the best curved monitors for under $300. It offers a handful of key features that make it an incredible value at a price point that you rarely find it. Its 27-inch screen is large enough to make good use of its 1500R curve, taking up more of your field of view and drawing you further into your entertainment experiences. A 27-inch at 1080p screen resolution stretches its pixels a bit thin, but not in a dramatic way. And, if you prefer to go smaller to maintain the screen's sharpness, the 24-inch 165Hz AOC C24G1A is our favorite curved gaming monitor for under $200. The C27G2Z is also quite a capable gaming monitor as well. It features a rapid 240Hz refresh rate with AMD FreeSync for extremely fast responses that react with flawless graphics for ultra-smooth competitive gameplay, which is fast enough for competitive esports players. Response time is also excellent at 0.5 ms in its fastest mode, but you should plan on turning this down a touch for the best image quality. But with 0.5 ms to begin with, there's plenty of responsiveness to go around. Color coverage is also impressive at 90% of DCI-P3 color space, so the hues will look more profound and more saturated. Unfortunately, the C27G2Z peak brightness is at the bottom of the barrel, with a luminance of only 300 nits. That's fine for most games, but you'll want to position it away from direct sunlight. HDR is also out of the question, but these are reasonable trade-offs given its price. It has a fully ergonomic stand of up to 120mm height adjustment, tilt, swivel, pivot, and 100 by 100mm VESA mount compatibility. Connectivity options include two HDMI 2.0 ports, display port 1.2, and an audio lineout for convenience. Overall, the AOC C27G2Z offers a lot for little, costs less than $250, but still delivers strong performance, an idea for a gamer with a tight budget. Next with number 4, we've got the LG UltraGear 34 GP 950 GB. Gamers who have taken the leap already know, a great ultra-wide monitor can take your gaming experience to the next level. That's certainly the case with the expansive LG UltraGear 34 GP 950 GB, which delivers a crisp 3440x1440 picture empowered by LG Nano IPS panel. A proprietary LG display technology, Nano IPS displays feature a coating of nanoparticles on the backlight that expand their color gamut all the way to an incredibly vibrant 98% of the DCI-P3 color space, or roughly 135% of sRGB. Somehow, professional-grade color accuracy and gaming-grade speed go hand-in-hand. Hand. LG quotes a 1ms response time on its faster preset, dramatically reducing the chance for visible ghosting. Meanwhile, its perfectly respectable 104-4Hz refresh rate can be overclocked to hit an impressive 180Hz for competitive play. It's also NVIDIA G-Sync Ultimate certified, so you can count on fluid gameplay without a hint of screen tearing. The Ultra Gear 34 GP 950 GB is certified by VESA for display HDR 600 high dynamic range. It has a higher peak brightness of 600 nits and true 10-bit color, so you can make out more detail in the shadows and highlights. Since it also uses an IPS panel, contrast levels are also low, which makes blacks look dark gray in dark rooms. And even with local dimming turned off, there's little room to argue with how good this monitor truly is. It comes with a three-side virtually borderless design with tilt adjustment and height adjustable stand and 100 by 100 mm VESA mount compatibility. Connectivity options included HDMI 2.0 port, display port 1.4, three USB 3.0 ports, and an audio lineout port. Overall, the LG UltraGear 34 GP 950 GB doesn't come cheap, but its spacious nano IPS screen is a joy to behold. So, if you could effort it, this guy is hard to beat. Next up at number 3, we've got the Gigabyte M32UC. The curved 4K monitors usually get expensive quickly, and the Gigabyte M32UC balances performance, features, and price better than most displays out there. It isn't cheap by any stretch, but you get a color-rich gaming display with a ton of great features in return. 
You may have to adjust a couple of settings to make the most of it, but once you do, you'll see that it's a hidden gem among ultra-wide gaming monitors. Unlike traditional VA panels, the M32UC Super Speed VA panel gives it an unexpectedly low 1ms response time. It's also fast with a 160Hz refresh rate, which is high for a 4K display. With a 93% DCI-P 3-wide color gamut and 123% sRGB, it offers incredible color depth and accuracy, which is great for creatives. If you'd like to connect to a second PC for streaming or home office use, it also features a built-in KVM bottom to quickly swap your peripherals between devices. To top things off, the monitor also features a full suite of competitive gaming features, like a black equalizer that helps you peek into shadows, and an FPS monitor that can overlay on any game. There are also some important trade-offs with the M32 UC that you should know before you buy as well. First, with 8-bit color and only 400 nits of brightness, it can't really handle HDR gameplay. Some users have also reported minor ghosting with overdrive disabled, but that's a quick fix within its settings menu. Even with these shortcomings, the M32UC is an outstanding choice if you're shopping for a 4K monitor with an immersive curve. The Gigabyte M32UC monitor is designed with a 178-degree viewing angle and 100 by 100 mm VESA mount compatibility. Connectivity options include two HDMI 2.1 ports, Display Port 1.4, a USB-C port, four USB 3.2 ports, and a headphone jack. At number two, we've got the Alienware AW3423DW Quantum Dot OLED Curve Monitor. Alienware's 34 Quantum Dot OLED is one of the very few gaming monitors to receive such a stellar score from us, and it's no surprise. Dell has nailed the OLED panel on this screen, and it's absolutely gorgeous for PC gaming. Although this monitor isn't perfect, it is dramatically better than any LCD-based monitor by several gaming critical metrics. What that 34-inch 21 to 9 aspect ratio panel can deliver in either of its HDR modes, HDR400 True Black or HDR Peak 1000, is nothing short of exceptional. The 3440 by 1440 native resolution image it produces across that gentle 1800R curve is punchy and vibrant. With 99.3% coverage of the demanding DCI-P3 color space and fully 1000 nits brightness, it makes a good go, though that brightness level can only be achieved on a small portion of the panel. There's so much depth, saturation, and clarity to the in-game image thanks to that per-pixel lighting, but this OLED screen needs to be in HDR mode to do its thing, and that also applies to SDR content as well. The EDR Peak 1000 mode enables that maximum 1000 nit performance in small areas of the panel, but actually looks less vibrant and punchy most of the time. The panel is actually over-provisioned with pixels by about 20 in both axes, providing plenty of leeways, and it's a little like the over-provisioning of memory cells in an SSD, and it allows a laneware to prevent static elements from burning into the display over time. Latency is also traditionally a weak point for OLED, and while we didn't sense any subjective issue with this 175Hz monitor, there's little doubt that if your game in fun and success hinges on having the lowest possible latency, there are faster screens available. You can only achieve the full 175Hz with the single display port input 2. In the end, the Alienware 34 Quantum Dot OLED's response time is absurdly quick at 0.1 milliseconds and it cruises through our monitor testing suite. There's no HDMI 2.1 on this panel, however. So it's probably not the best fit for console gaming as a result, but this is PC Gamer, and if you're going to hook your PC up to a high-end gaming monitor, we'd recommend it be this one. The last, the last product on our list is the Samsung Odyssey G7. The Samsung Odyssey G7 is a curved VA panel-based 1440p at 240Hz display featuring high contrast ratio, broad viewing angles, and vivid colors. The G7 provides a high 108 ppi pixel density in 1440p resolution, resulting in crisp details and text, plenty of screen space, and no necessary scaling. Moving on, the Samsung G7 has a high static contrast ratio of 2500 to 1, which results in significantly deeper blacks in comparison to IPS and TN monitors. Best of all, in addition to its wide 95% DCI-P3 color gamut and wide 178-degree viewing angles, you also get a high peak brightness of 600 nits, so the image quality is a lot more immersive. It's also one of the rare VA panel monitors with a rapid 1ms GTG pixel response time speed. So, you won't get any ghosting or smearing usually associated with VA displays. 
MBR is supported, but just like with all monitors mentioned in this guide, the strobing is not well optimized as the overdrive is locked to fastest, which is the most aggressive mode. So, unless you can maintain consistent 240 FPS, you'll get double images with fast-moving content. Regardless, its GTG performance is very good, so you don't have to rely on MBR for smooth gameplay. The Samsung G7 has AMD FreeSync Premium Pro as well as NVIDIA's G-Sync compatible certifications. Other features include the standard gaming utilities such as custom crosshairs, pre-calibrated picture presets, and black equalizer for better visibility in darker games. The design of the monitor includes a very aggressive 1000R screen curvature for added immersion, while the stand is sturdy and offers a good range of ergonomics including height adjustment of up to 120mm, minus 15 to 15 degree swivel, minus 9 to 13 degree tilt, 90 degree pivot, and 100 by 100mm VESA mount compatibility. Connectivity options include two display port 1.4 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, a headphone jack, and a dual USB 3.0 hub.